Through this series, we've looked at a number of different bullpups currently in use with Ukrainian forces, ranging from Tavors to locally produced Maliuks. Check out our videos on those if you haven't already. In this video, we're going to look at another Ukrainian developed system which converts standard AK 74s into a bullpup. The Black Storm BS series of kits has been around since the mid 2010s, and in recent months, more and more imagery of Ukrainian personnel with Blackstorm bullpup AKs has been emerging. The Blackstorm kits are compatible with both AKM and AK-74 pattern rifles, and the relatively simple design allows the conversion of a conventional rifle into a bullpup with no alterations to the base rifle. To convert the rifle, the stock furniture, the pistol grip, forend and butt are removed, the Blackstorm trigger transfer bar is then put in place, and the lower receiver of the chassis is then attached, which holds the bar in place. The new lower receiver has a pistol grip already attached. The butt assembly is then slid into place, and this also covers the original trigger, but leaves the magazine release exposed. There is a hinged cheek piece attached to the butt assembly, and this can be pivoted out of the way to allow access to the gas piston and bolt assembly, and to allow the receiver cover to be put in place. Finally, a top cover is slotted into place and a retaining catch holds it to the lower. This covers the gas tube and barrel. The kit itself appears to be made from simple sheet metal stampings and is held together by slotting into pre-existing parts of the rifle's original receiver and a couple of bolts. While the chassis obviously adds weight to the weapon, it does have the benefit of shortening the rifle and also shifting its centre of balance backwards. The BS-3 adds no additional controls to the rifle and the weapon is manipulated using its existing charging handle and safety selector lever. The BS-4 was developed in 2017 and introduced in 2018. It adds a number of new ergonomic features with a left side forward charging handle, which makes the rifle much easier to cock, and a new thumb actuated safety, which probably acts on the trigger transfer bar. A new extension to the magazine release lever was also added, making magazine changes easier. Blackstorm described the BS-4 as easy to put on and take off in the field, without intruding into the weapon. It's enough to remove the butt and stock, and you can install the bullpup with one mounting bolt. Both the BS-3 and BS-4 have a length of Picatinny rail under the lower receiver and require an optic riser for mounting an optic. How well an optic mounted on a rifle in a Blackstorm kit retains zero is unknown, but the mount is fitted over the rifle's rear sight block and held in place by a bracket which comes up from under the barrel, and this is then secured by tightening four small bolts. The company says that both the BS3 and BS4 are made from 1mm stamped steel and polymer. Blackstorm lists the weight of an AK-74 with the BS3 kit installed, without a magazine as 3.4 kilograms. The weight of the BS3 kit's components is 1.2 kilograms. A 2018 video, however, suggests that the kit's components weigh just over 1.6 kilograms. Blackstorm lists an AK-74 with the BS4 kit installed as 3.9 kilograms, listing the kit's components as weighing 1.7 kilograms. Once installed with either kit, the rifle has an overall length of 70 cm or 27.5 inches, which is down from 94 cm or 37 inches for a standard configuration AK-74. Blackstorm lists the BS-3 at 14,250 Rivnia, around $387, and the BS-4 at 21,500 Rivnia, or about $585. A BS-5 has been developed. It's unclear if this is in production, but it is listed on Blackstorm's site and is said to be available. The BS-5 has a length of rail along its top cover, removing the need for the optic riser and allowing the use of backup iron sights. Its list price is 28,500 Rivnia, or around $775. Photos of the initial BT-2 were shared in January 2015, and an early version of the kit was displayed at a Ukrainian military exhibition later that year. The BT-3 and BS-3 variants were introduced in 2017 and 18, respectively. The guns have seen combat use since at least 2017, with Blackstorm sharing photos of a BS-3 used in Donbass in July 2017. Since Russia's invasion in February 2022, a number of photos and videos 
have shown the conversion kits in use with personnel from a variety of units. During the first week of April 2022, combatants from the Georgian Legion shared a photo featuring a BS-3. In July, a member of Azov Dnipro was photographed with a BS-3 outfitted with a thermal optic, bipod and suppressor. Interestingly, you can see the remains of green paint on the AK-74 receiver, while the Black Storm kit which it's been placed in has not been painted. In October 2022, a series of photos featuring rifles outfitted with the kits were shared. Two were shared by a member of the Cat Squad Special Company, showing a BS-3 with an EOTech HWS XPS-2, a light laser module, and a custom green camouflage paint job. The member of the Cat Squad shared another photo in November with the rifle then seen fitted with a suppressor. Press photographer Viktor Fridchen took photos of Ukrainian troops in Krasnohora in Donetsk. One of the soldiers had a BS-3 fitted with a micro red dot sight and painted in a green camouflage scheme. At the beginning of February this year, a video of a Ukrainian combatant showing off his BS-3 was shared online. In it, he explains its features and demonstrates how handy it is. He has a vertical foregrip fitted and a name point red dot. Эта спица нажимает на родной спуск, вот, и у тебя получается такая подсветность тем перенасания. То есть у тебя меняется баланс, он становится немножко короче. Вот, и это замечательная работа в условиях городского боя и при защите здания за счет меньших габаритов и улучшенного центра тяжести. То есть у тебя идет максимально быстрая скидка, даже в случае, если что-то ты занят, или уйдешь товарища, или сам ранен, то ты, в принципе, можешь стрелять в одной руке. Как пистолет, да, ебать? Ну, грубо говоря, да. То есть на самом деле удобно. Единственное, что... В лесу, конечно, забивается песком. Ну, в лесу песком, да, это Ну, для города отлично. Просто шикарно. Most recently, in early February, Yuri was kind enough to share some photos he took of Ukrainian soldiers BS-4, identifiable by the visible left-side charging handle and safety on the pistol grip. The rifle was kitted out with a vertical foregrip, suppressor, a thermal optic, light laser module, and a red dot sight on a 45 degree mount. This is the first BS-4 I've seen in photographs from in theatre. It's unclear just how many of these Black Storm kits are being used by Ukrainian personnel in the field, and of course this brief look at examples can't be considered a representative survey. The kit itself, while heavy, does have the advantage of shortening the rifle's overall length, which is useful in some of the urban and close quarter fighting that's going on. The fact that the base rifle doesn't have to be modified is also a positive, and means that users don't have to physically modify issued service weapons. If you've seen other instances of the use of these Black Storm kits in the field, do let me know in the comments below or drop me an email. In a future video, I'll also be taking a look at the Black Storm Defender, a standalone stock for the GP25 grenade launcher. Thanks to Yuri, the guys at Shrieking Delilah, War Noir, and Abraxas Spa for their help with this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope you found this interesting. Do please share the video with friends, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also support the channel via Patreon and YouTube memberships, where there's a number of different packs available, including early access to all of our videos. Your support is very much appreciated. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.